is happening 100 percent. the fight is confirmed the contracts are on their way we have been in contact with uh dku's team at the wcs all morning it started off as the basics of can you do it here's the numbers here's this here's this some back and forth sorting out fees sorting out times sorting out everything in between but it is happening december 4th bradley scott versus dku the fight is a boxing match for anybody who's asked it is a boxing match. Yes, it's not the best conditions. We would have loved to have seen Brad slam DK on his head and choke him unconscious. But sadly, it's a boxing match. It is six rounds of three minutes, which in all honesty to Brad is a warm up. Um, and in terms of DK skill level, it's light sparring. This is, as Brad put it, it will be the easiest fight of his career. And if you don't believe that, check out the footage of DKU. It is amateur at best the guy who he's fighting isn't a pro fighter in the footage and dk style he would not be able to ramp that up any further than 30 percent and it wouldn't stand any pressure against a pro fighter against an amateur fighter yeah it'll be a brawl against a pro fighter it's horrendous and i can tell you this i would put up a good fight against dku I may even get the better of him, and I am not a pro fighter. I train with Brad. That's all I do. Brad, on the other hand, when me and Brad spar, I can try as hard as I want. Brad doesn't even have to wear a gum shield because I land so little punches. As soon as I come forward at Brad, he counters it, ties me up, smashes my face in, drops my ass in two seconds flat and stands over me and goes, get up, pussy, and I have to get up and do it again. DK, on the other hand, has never been dropped. He's never been put on his ass. And this will be his massive downfall. As soon as Brad hits him with a gut shot, hits him in the face, wobbles him a little bit, his knees will give, and then his will and his moral will fall out of his ass before you've ever seen, faster than you've ever seen before. So this is happening. 100% DKU versus Brad Scott, December 4th, live on Fight TV. There's a link in the description. There are still the picture they're still using for the folk for the fight is of DK and Zhu Zhaodong. Obviously, Zhu is 100% out. We always knew that was going to happen. The fact that he did a um, an interview with Jerry at Fight Comedy Breakdowns over a month ago saying that the fine fight was never going to happen. Are the papers signed? Not yet. They're on their way. But we have agreed the fight purse, the percentage of the pay-per-view cut, and it's a good percentage. Yeah, Jerry's got the fucking bargaining skills, baby. We're going to be flying out business class to Korea. We have a five-star hotel for a week. We have a translator and a manager with us. We have our own car. We have everything you could possibly want for a trip away. So this is uh, going to be amazing. And the fact that Brad has done all of this while sat at the side of a fucking pool in Lanzarote, he has not put in zero effort into this. And even now, he's on the beach sipping cocktails chilling with the biggest smile on his face knowing that he hasn't even got to put in much effort into this fight yes he's carrying a few injuries yes he's fucking going to be coming in at about 100 kilos but it's an open weight fight it doesn't matter about weight does the injuries matter not if you're an ex ufc fighter ufc fighters fight with problems all the time when brad fought jack Comanson, he had no acl in his left leg he'd been to pre-op they cut the fucking thing off it was a mess when he fought against, who was it? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, God, Brazilian dude. He fought him out in Mexico City. He had staph infection for that fight. And if anyone knows anything about staph infection, it literally makes you feel like you've got the worst illness in the world. And he still fought. So having a bit of a bummed up shoulder for Brad, once the adrenaline kicks in, he ain't going to do fucking nothing about that. He's just going to smash through it. He fought Robert Whitaker with two broken hands, for fuck's sake. That's who we're talking about here. Do you think DKU has ever fought with an injury? Do you think he's ever fought at all? Not a fucking chance. The dude is hes going to get wiped. And I've already been in the comment section on his video and on his posts. Yes, I've been trolling a little bit. You know me, I kind of like to uh, get in that way. But it's all promo. You see all of the people in his comments that are like, oh, DKU, you're going to do so well. Not a fucking chance. So if I can rile them up to make them buy the pay-per-view, then yeah, why the fuck not? Let's have a little look at some of these comments to see you guys getting involved. Right, uh, so excited for the fight. Yes, we love you too since Fight Perfect. Yeah, I know that seems like a friggin' lifetime ago now. 
Brad could beat him with one hand tied behind his back. The way his shoulder's looking, you never know. Uh, Brad knocking out DKU, 100%. Brad will crush him. Of course he will. I would probably still beat the crap out of DKU. I am 25 kilos heavier than the guy, and I fight with Brad for a day job. So, yeah, some little fancy pantsy. Uh, I train fucking Korean special forces. Sadly, doesn't bother me. Uh, is this real? Yes, it is. This is 100% happening. Awesome news. What I miss for the panda. The fight is happening, buddy. It is 100% on. Just to reiterate, Brad Scott versus DKU, December 4th. It is going down. It will be live on Fight TV. The link is in the description. You can pre-order it now for 20 quid, or you can wait until the day. It doesn't matter, but it is 100% happening. I will be vlogging the whole fucking thing for you guys. This is a big day for us. This is a big day for the martial arts community. This is a big day for exposing DKU. So all of it will be filmed. We will have full videos going up as well. We're going to cover absolutely everything we can, obviously, as well as the fight itself. So there is plenty of material for you guys to watch. This, we hope, is going to launch the channel to whole new levels. We hope it's going to launch Brad back into the spotlight as well. He definitely needs it. He needs to focus. He needs to drive. He's far too good to just be making YouTube videos with me. Um, the logistics are all worked out. Yes, they are. They're a little bit of a hard one, but we got it working. Um, the missus is still going to be away from the 4th of December. So she leaves to go to America with her sister. The dogs will be looked after by other people. The pig will get a pig sitter in. Yes, I have a pig as a pet. So, yes, somebody will look into the pig. Um, and uh, first class flights out to North and South Korea <laughs> and uh, hotels for the week. Luckily as well, because, of, um, because they're involved, the WCS team, and they are registered in Korea we don't have to isolate because they have a special sports license. Um, we don't have to get visas because, again, we're only in and out inside a week. Um, the UK has a deal with South Korea. It's not like you have to get any business visas unless you're staying in the country for more than 30 days. And we haven't got to do any of the isolation stuff again because they're essentially vouching for us, which is a nice system. I like that. I hate this whole government corrupt bollocks like you have to stay in your hotel room for 10 days. No. Nah. So that all gets kicked off that's that's irrelevant um let's have a look back to the comments how's the isolation going to work obviously it doesn't zhu fights brad afterwards kind of pointless if if brad smashes the shit out and also i doubt zhu will want to fight uh zhu jiaodong is an amateur mma fighter he is not a professional fighter he would not be able to get in any fight league he would not be able to join one fc he would not be able to join rising he would not be able to get in the ufc He's a fucking amateur. The fact that he was fighting DKU at all was a gimme. It was a joke. It was purely as this guy that beat up all of these guys that couldn't fight uh, is now fighting. <laughs> Peach. Really? Really, doggy? Really? Thank you, darling. That was lovely. Thank you for the kiss. Anyway, uh, so Brad versus... Um, Zhu Zhao Dong is kind of pointless. Sorry, I know my camera's moving around, but I'm holding it, just holding it. Um, back to comments. 85 of us in the chat. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome to the live. For those that are new, Brad is fighting DKU on the 4th of December. It is happening. 100% confirmed. The flights are being booked. The passport pictures have been sent off. The insurance shit started. The contracts are on their way. It is a go. So for all those people that were saying all of the shit in the comment section that I was trying to, like, my last video yesterday was me trying to make excuses. It fucking wasn't. It was laying out the actual picture of what's going to happen. And the, what's going to happen is DKU's going to get his fucking face smashed in. So I hope you guys are all going to buy into this subscription. You're going to buy into the pay-per-view because we need it, really. Um, it's It'd be great to have some of you guys on there and to support us. It's going to be an absolute Korean fest. Like, we are going to be fighting a Korean on a Korean show in Korea. So, it's uh, we're a little bit out of our depth. The last time Brad fought anything as bad as this, he fought Robert Whittaker in Adelaide in Australia on The Ultimate Fighter. And he had 20,000 people booing him. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it was uh, that this is a nice change. But uh, a little bit of the old as well. Brad will smash him. Boom, son. Yeah, I've also going to put this to Brad that every time he lands a punch, he has to scream, boom, son. Every time he lands a punch, he's going to go, boom, son, boom, son, boom, son. Just knock his fucking face off. It should be funny. 
Uh, let's get back to these comments, guys. Oh, we've got a couple of tippers as well. If you fancy feeling like you want to tip me, this isn't OnlyFans, but um, if someone puts something nice in there, I may pull my cock out. You never know. Um, big fan from Canada. Love your work. Love the channel. Cheers very much. Um, what MMA gym is you guys are located at? We are in Bristol, which is in the southwest of England. Uh, Brad is one of the head coaches there. He's an absolute beast. But there is also other things in the pipeline for Mr. Bradley, which may be coming in 2021, especially now with this fight happening as well. So big news, potentially. Um, but you never know. Let me spin my camera around. I'm fed up holding this fucking thing. Um, I better drop you behind the radiator. There we go. Okie dokie, let's get back to these comments. Um, welcome to career uh, rounds. Late. So it's going to be uh, six three-minute rounds. And this is where it gets a bit interesting. They said about glove sizes. They have said anywhere between 10 and 14 ounce, depending on size. Obviously, DK weighs about 80 kilos and Brad weighs about 100 kilos. So likelihood is DK will be wearing a set of 10s, Brad will be wearing a set of 14s. So, but a set of 10s for Brad is like pillows. That's nothing. Like when he boxes hard, he wears eights. And obviously in MMA, he wears fours. So a set of 10s is like pillows. Um, Team Brad, smash him up. Absolutely. I hope DKU doesn't back out. Well, if this contract is in play, he shouldn't be able to. We're going to try and get him to pay our main fight purse up front. And then we then have a nice half hefty uh, proportion of the uh, pay-per-view as well so that's why we want you guys to buy in because we all get about four pound fifty for every one of you uh that buys <laughs> so yeah um right rounds and length yeah done that one excited to see dku actually fight i'm not quite excited to see him fight i think it's going to be hilarious i think it's going to be watching like a cat on ice he ain't gonna have a fucking clue what he's done he does not realize what he's left to let himself in for and if anybody here has ever fought in a ring and thought wow i did really well then there are whole different levels to this game there are whole different levels i can mop the floor with anyone that's been fighting for two or three years four years a little bit of a challenge any amateur fighter will put on a good fight any pro fighter will kick the fuck out of me any pro fighter will get their living shit kicked out of them by brad any signed professional fighter, we're talking Bellator, Cage Warriors, that level, gets the shit kicked out of them by Brad. Any UFC fighter in the gym, Brad is a fucking savage. He has openly said that he literally tore the shit out of everybody that he trained with when he was at the MMA lab. We're talk talking Joe Riggs, Benson Henderson, Henry Cejudo, Jorge Masvidal, threw them around like ragdolls. But in the main arena... The pressure tends to get to people, their game plan changes, and Brad obviously he suffered with a little bit of performance anxiety when it came to big fights in front of 30,000 plus with MMA. With boxing, he ain't scared of that in the slightest. Boxing for him is his warm up. Like, that's just like one of the elements. It's like, oh, let's get my hands loose. Yeah, nice. Right, okay, let's do some takedown work. <laughs> do some, right, do some kicking, do some sub work. You're talking 20% of Brad's warm up is this entire fight. So do not be expecting to see Brad in any form of uh, discomfort in this. Fighting is scary as fuck, even at the amateur level. It's even more scary at the amateur level because you're scared of getting hit. And if anyone has watched DKU's recent video, he is so scared of getting hit, even at training level, that he puts on a shit show. He's running away from his guy and he's throwing these fancy like floaty punches which one have zero power two mean that they can't be scaled because if you're doing this to throw a punch you're giving away your game plan that's not how boxing works boxing is about getting hit to hit someone back it's about counter punching you have to stay in range you rarely see two professional boxers move any further than range they will be at the end of the other person's fist for the whole fight Whereas with DKU, he's going to be running away, waiting for a moment to engage, which for a pro fighter is hilarious. That's literally like perfect because all they're doing is focusing on their entry and not the strikes that come after it. That's like a puncher's bread and butter. Brad is an incredible power puncher. He's an incredible counter puncher. 
His movement is insane, and DKU has never faced any of this. He's never been hit more than once in multiple parts of his body in very, very quick succession. So he will be fucked really, really fast. So I've got a couple of comments coming through. Hit him with a Hadouken. You never know, he might go full Kamehameha on him and just fucking light himself up and just rip his head off. Um, you never know. This is what I'm saying. DKU has a lot more to lose than you guys. Yeah, DK has everything to use, lose, and he will lose because he can't fight. It's as simple as that. It's uh, it's going to be incredibly one-sided. Uh, where's the comments gone? Let me go. Brad should throw a super dragon fist. Goku star. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, go back up. Brad throwing meme punches. Yeah, I said I'm going to see if uh, there's any way we can mix in some trolling just into the live fight. It could be funny. You know, like wait for DKU to start running away and just like mimic him, do some stupid shit or just, you know, like <laughs> practice his fucking one inch punch on him or some bollocks. Um, just don't, don't be too complacent. DKU got some pro training in. Oh, good for him. Some pro training. He would need to pro train for three years solid with the best in the world to get anywhere near Brad. And let's face it, he doesn't train hard because of what he does for a living. If he trained hard for six months, he would realize that his whole WCS system is a load of bullshit. That's what happens to these guys. I went to a Taekwondo seminar a couple of weeks ago for, for fun. They asked me to come along and do some training with them. I knocked out one of their black belts accidentally. And I mean accidentally. I front leg head kicked him, knocked him out cold. He fell like a tree. It was a bit bad. His kid was in the class and he was crying. It was a bit, oh shit. Um, but afterwards he messaged me saying, I've never been hit that hard. And it made me question my entire 20 years of training. I hit him at about 20%. So it shows the level of training. DKU doesn't even live spar. So what level of training are we talking here? This is genuinely unknown ground for this kid. And his first fight is going to be against a UFC fighter. I'm sorry, but it's, it's preposterous. It's absolutely insane to think that DKU has a chance in this. Uh, fight Bible, I swear, the most making sense Bible I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, there are some great stories in this Bible. Um, but there's a lot less uh, rape, incest, and human mutilation. Well, maybe not. Maybe uh, DKU will be our first case of human sacrifice in the fight Bible. Anyway, guys, this was meant to be a real quick video. I hope you guys are excited for this fight, as excited as we are. I hope that this video gets 10, 15,000 views. You never know. I know it's just a quick, shitty live, but this is real. This fight is going to happen. No excuses, no bullshit. I wasn't making excuses in the video yesterday. It was not an excuse video. It was simply laying out the reality of the logistics of what was going to happen. And over the last four and a half, five hours, I've smashed those logistics out. A contract is on its way. We have business class flights out to Korea on the 1st of December. We have a fight purse arranged. We have a pay-per-view percentage arranged for sharing. Everything has fallen perfectly in line. And Brad is happily sat on a beach in Lanzarote chilling enjoying his uh, last night before he starts training tomorrow. And by training, he said he's going to do a beach run. So he ain't going to be training that hard. But uh, let me just ask you these last couple of questions. Uh, exciting for the first part 30 seconds. Yes, it will be over in 30 seconds. Um, also, Brad is completely clean as well. There is no need for blood testing or anything. He doesn't train enough to do any of that stuff. Ben Askren's back fist about to look professional compared to DKU's. Yeah, DKU does like a good back fist, doesn't he? He likes throwing this. He sort of like just lazily leans that out there and whips it across the face, which is illegal in boxing for anyone that doesn't know. Um, uh, I would hate to be hit by Brad Scott. I've been hit by Brad at about 20% um, with a set of gloves on in the face and it rattled my brain for about three days. He's dug me in the body several times and made me want to cry. And again, he was hitting me about 20%. So I would hate to feel what an actual left uppercut from Brad. He did um, a power cube test the other day. You know what those power cube things are? Electronically measures how hard you hit. Francis Ngannou has the world record at 122,000 pounds per square inch or whatever it is. However, that machine reads it, 122,000. Tyron Spong was the second place 
with 110,000 with a kick. Brad hit 108,000 with his left uppercut. That shows you how fucking powerful that guy's left hand is. It's fucking disgusting. He hit 104,000 with his straight right with no step. That's how fucking scary this kid is. And he's about to be on the receiving end is DKU. Um, thanks for the vid. Yeah, just updating you guys. Da -da 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 -da. DK has any strength at all? No, if I'm honest. He's fast, but fast means fuck all if you can't get anywhere near him because you're too scared. Uh, need to press Brad for STDs. Maybe on the way back he will. Uh, are you going to film and build the whole... Fuck yeah, we're going to film the whole thing. Does DK get a helmet? Hell no. Um, can Brad dance around and imitate him? <laughs> yeah, possibly. I might get see if uh, work on Brad and work on some of his uh, fancy footwork. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I am going to be signing off right now. So, once again, the fight is happening. Brad Scott versus DKU, December 4th or 5th, depending on where you are in the world. It's happening. This is actually happening. He has finally pulled his head out of his ass. I know it took him two months or 56 days to answer us, but it's finally happening. Brad Scott versus DKU, live on Fight TV, December 4th. Make sure you check it out. All the links are in the description below, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, join in on Instagram. Find us on there. Join in the comments. Feel free to troll DKU a little bit. But share our poster around this on Instagram. All of these extra fight promos help for us. And we hope to see you guys very soon. I will be keep video. This isn't my last sign-off before we fuck off to Korea. So expect more videos over the next two weeks. But anyway, peace out, guys. Peace and love.